Three, two, one. <sighs> don't think, don't think, just do. I gotta do this for like at least two minutes. It is the next day and I'm gonna do this whole ice bath thing, all right? Temperature outside right now is... 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have this lucky thermometer right now and I'm gonna check the temperature of my butthole. Just kidding, I'm gonna check the temperature of the ice bath, okay? They say that at 32 degrees Fahrenheit is when water actually freezes, which is pretty interesting. And they recommend, and they say that your ice bath should be around 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I have this right here, measuring at Fahrenheit. If I was to just turn it on right now. Let me just turn it on right now. Anyways, I'm gonna check the turn. Right Thirty-six degrees. It is at thirty-seven degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if you guys got that. It's at thirty-seven degrees Fahrenheit and they say that you should do it at 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's obviously colder than what they recommend, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna dive right in. <laughs> I'm pretty scared. Oh, okay. frick. Okay. You can do it, Jeffrey. You yeah, just I'm did scared. it last night. All right, I'm scared. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. And Great. three, two, one. Don't think, don't think, just do. I gotta do this for like at least two minutes. I just feel it in my arms right now, where it's like burning. Ooh. My fingertips, my calves. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how long I can do it. In one minute. One minute? Yeah. You should submerge your head for the next minute. Huh? You should submerge your whole entire head for the next, to endure the next minute. <sighs> okay. I'm done. Oh my gosh, but you only have like 40 more seconds. <laughs> Kills.
Okay. I feel like I reached a point where I'm in my... I'm really more into my body and in my breath. The pain is still there, but it definitely more, it's more tolerable. And the pain that I felt initially in my legs, my arms, my fingertips, it's lessened, but the pain is more in my fingertips right now. Oof. I almost had, uh, there's almost a point where I can feel my heartbeat. That was in my forehead, by the way. That was an air bubble. That was an air bubble, I promise. I feel like. I feel like my heart rate has slowed down. That's what I feel like. I feel like my heart rate has slowed down and I can. I almost can control my heart rate by my breath, which is very interesting right now. Um, oh man, it kills like a motherfucker though. Uh. It's weird. I, I, I tap. I'm, I'm, I'm like doing this right now. I'm tapping my my forearm, and I could feel my my nerves jolt, which is pretty interesting. How long has it been? You've probably been there in the span of like almost three minutes. Okay. Um. Whew, okay. <sighs> I feel like I feel good right now. I feel like I reached that point where it's like the initial break and hurts is gone, and I feel like I could like. Relax a little bit, which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh man, but it still hurts. It still hurts, and I think I'm gonna end it now. <sighs> it, it, I'm kind of scared, guys. It, it feels good at the moment, but I'm scared to go through that initial pain tomorrow. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna end it right now. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, your chest is red. Huh? Your chest is red. It's the Asian flush, baby. The Asian, <laughs> Asian flush. <laughs> Can't even move my fingertips. Let me adjust this. Yeah. All right, guys, I am freezing, but the, the pain is tolerable. Look at my skin color right now. This is where I'm at. Like, I'm red for now. The red Asian ice man. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I gotta warm up. It kills. This guy to warm me up though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, boy. Get some lunges. <laughs> some <laughs> squats. <laughs> this is Barry, by the way. <laughs> oh. <sighs> but yeah, guys, after jumping out there, or after jumping out of the shower, warmed up my hands, warmed up my feet, and basically I have to jump around because. I feel like I need to get my heart rate going just to warm up the rest of my body. And I've caught myself just shivering, just standing in place. Whew. I'm out of shape. <laughs> my blood flow is so constricted from the cold. That's why it's kind of harder for me to, to like cardiovascularly keep my body going, I guess. That is my cold shower. My ass got kicked. Don't mind the mess in the background. Let me change the view. <laughs> Um, now that I'm back inside, it's warmer. Temperature in here is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, no, actually, yeah, it's like 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's Alaska, it's cold here. Whew. Honestly, the whole experience was terrifying. All right, I'm not gonna lie, the first 10 seconds in there, it was terrifying. I felt like, <laughs> you almost feel like you're, you're facing death in the face. If I was to describe it that way, it definitely feels like death and the first minute in there is where you're just, you're just in pain, man. You're literal hell, like a cold hell. And the pain is intolerable. And after that one minute, when I got outside and I was thinking about stopping, I felt a mental, a mental jolt where I felt 
Like, you know what? You can do this. Don't be, <laughs> I don't want to say it, but don't be a pussy. I don't want you guys to get offended, ladies. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I gotta keep on, I gotta keep on warming up. I feel cold still. But it's like, when I got out, I felt like I needed to prove it to myself that I could keep going. So it was definitely more of a pride thing. And honestly, it, it does turn you more mentally tough because you, you kind of set yourself into a standard. You set standards and you know that you want to follow it. And by not being the average who would succumb to pain, you know that you, you have to because you promised yourself. And I think that as you train yourself with this whole ice bath thing and you, you endure the pain, your, your status, not your status, but the, the standard that you have on yourself of what is achievable is definitely proven by the fact that you could surpass what you thought is possible but just constantly going to the next level mentally, going to the next level. And whew, as, as each second went by, man, let me tell you, 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 feel, you feel more tolerable to pain. Pain becomes comfortable. And I feel like that's what's important in, in life and, and whatever endeavor or goal that you are chasing. Embrace the pain, guys, because that is literally what sets you up to go to the next level. Whew, okay. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just thinking about trying to stay warm. Uh, and Barry's over here, just chewing on his toy, enjoying life. He's living his best life, being all furry and warm. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. I'm gonna make videos every day of me doing an ice bath for the next 30 days just because ice bath challenge, why not? It's not even a challenge, man. It's gonna be a way of life and I'm gonna be shivering every time I talk. Um, okay, I gotta stay warm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like this video. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe and I hope I see you guys in the next video. Share this with your friends. It's in Alaska here. If you guys are watching from Alaska, if you guys want to come into my yard and jump in with me, <laughs> then I'll probably be weird. So guys, if you guys have not already, subscribe. I already said that. So I'll close with my, my, my motto, alright, which is, whatever you're going through guys, strive to be better, F the average, and be yourself. Yeah, as always guys, God bless you, and have the blessed day ever. Cause I say it from my soul